Good morning. I remember one time I was at an airport um, during Miss USA and I was sitting, you know, by the gate and there was a men's bathroom that was really close and I could hear this man just hollering and really yelling at this little kid, like a little five or six year old kid. And I wanted to go in there so bad and just rescue that kid. Like I was just, it was so disturbing, right? <clears throat> I think about how do we talk to ourselves? As much as I didn't like how that was going for that little boy, can you imagine all the times that we talk bad about ourselves? You know, what lives inside of us is perfect. Whatever you want to call it, the Holy Ghost, an inner being, your spirit guide, whatever you want to call it, but it is perfection. And it is a gift to us because it is our guidance. And when we are not kind to it, can you imagine that feeling? When you feel sad and when you feel upset with yourself, we've actually left the presence, the separation of how beautiful it is that lives within us. And that is a yearning and a longing for us to get back to it. Look in the mirror today, talk nice to yourself, and have a good one. Here's the thing about gratitude. It cannot coexist at the same time with a negative feeling. So if you're feeling anything like sadness, depression, anxiety, jealousy, any of those negative emotions, you cannot be feeling gratitude. But on the opposite end, when you feel gratitude, you can't feel any of the negative emotions either. So basically, we just need to constantly try to find a state of appreciation or gratitude. So when you do have those negative emotions that come to you, you can immediately try to think of something that you're thankful for, something that you're grateful for, so that you keep that energy with you instead. A few days has gone by since that video um, with the, when I went to see the, the doctor and I just got a call that um, there are some concerns with my bones and the calcium. And so um, go back in next week for some more labs and then they're gonna make a decision on what they need to do and why um, I'm getting these results from my labs of what's going on. So, you know, I mean, cancer isn't something that, you know, once you stop your treatments, you're done. It's a, it's a game of watching closely where you are on your levels when you have your markers and your labs done and then monitoring, you know, how's your body reacting now? How is it recuperating? And so I'm extremely, extremely appreciative of my great medical staff that is paying attention to every little detail to making sure that, you know, me moving forward in my health is going to be a road of, of goodness and not, you know, any other things that may come up. So I appreciate knowing, you know, where I'm at and what needs to be done in the next step. So thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for taking good care of me. I'll see you next time. Do you ever write down what you think, what you want, what you desire? Not necessarily a journal about what happened in the day or, you know, what you're going to be having for Christmas Eve dinner. It's actually about the start of your day. <clears throat> Writing down what you want. Could be you want perfect timing. Could be you want um, really great communication. You want a body that feels good. You want um, easy movement and traffic, whatever it might be. When you write, you focus. When you focus with your mind and in your heart, then you get the energy moving, and that's how things come to you. Don't forget, write your feelings down. We did this exercise last week. Remember where I said, place the hand in front of your face, close your eyes, feel it so close to you that you, all, you can feel your breath ricocheting off of it, and remind yourself that's how close everything is that you want, that we want, right? Here's something else you can do. So I just pulled a picture from my vision board. This is just a bunch of money, y'all, just a bunch of money. But I'm gonna do the same thing with this picture. I'm gonna place it right in front of my face and I'm gonna cover my eyes and I'm gonna feel the presence of it. I'm gonna feel it right in front of me and I'm gonna to say to myself, everything I want is within grasp. All I have to do is line up with the energy of it. Thank you very much. Thank you for my prosperity. Thank you for everything. Get used to the feeling of it. And when the feeling happens and it's continuous and you believe it, it will come.